We don't have one. But it's essential. Uh, greens are dirty. Uh, anybody ever have a garden or ever been to a farm? Yeah. Everybody? No. 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 All right. Greens grow in dirt. Mushrooms right. grow in dirt. Right. They're Colorings. dirty. I believe you. I believe you. I believe I take a word for it. The triple washed spinach that you get from Cisco. Generally pretty clean, but it's still dirty. Yeah, um, basil. can be really dirty, especially spinach. Basil is very dirty. Um, Basil has a lot of aromatic oils. Oils kind of adhere to things. Dirt sticks on them uh, like crazy. Uh, so it is really important to, to wash them. Uh, also, you can help crisp and kind of refresh your greens if they're starting to get wilty from drying out. They lose the water that maintains the cellular structure just through evaporation. Putting them in cool water helps them soak up a little bit more and can make them more crisp. Spinach also, um, I learned this from my grandfather. Spinach won't, like a lot of greens, when you pick them off, or basil, you know, it'll cause it to grow more. Uh -huh. But spinach won't do that. And the best thing to do is to just pull the whole plant up and wash it before you cut the stems. Because spinach will actually um, suck, like, grains of sand or will find dirt right up in the stem. Absolutely. Oh, wow. So you're better off to pull the whole plant pull whole up plant and out. wash it. Wash it and then pull. And, and then cut your stems. Wow. Uh, unless you want to keep growing. Depends on, depends on the farm, I guess. So, mayonnaise. I'm going to make a very basic mayonnaise. Uh, here's the sink. Thank you. All the way over there. It's about to give me a little cup of water. Thanks. No food processor in this class. What? You can keep them moving. We have to make those now. You can no. keep them away from yeah, JC. I yeah, I can make all those now. That was an example. Yeah. If you can make it by hand, you should know how to make it by hand. So we practice. Okay, so we can do these over there. I can't make it at home. Oh, yeah. I don't mind being a bad idea. I do. You know, we made the mayonnaise so much. The tartar sauce last year. Ramadan. So, I am making all this. Salt, so I'm making a two egg mayonnaise because it's considerably easier. When we get into making mayonnaise, we're going to follow the recipe in the book. Uh, this book, the recipe in your textbook, doesn't so, work so good. So, what book? Um, you'll oh. notice I'm not really measuring. It is to your benefit to have things like this, these basic preparations, like mayonnaise, like bechamel, like roux, velouté. Um, your soups in your repertoire that you can make with the drop of a hat. When you get out of school, your chefs are not going to give you a recipe for soup. They're going to expect you to be able to make a soup. You're not going to have a recipe to follow. Our soup du jour is going to be corn chowder. We'll make some. Um, your chef suddenly needs mayonnaise on the fly. If there's six people in the kitchen, you want to be the one that can say, I can do a chef. Yeah, right here, man. I'll do it. Be three minutes. Um, it's quite a valuable thing. It's a certain, really useful sauce. So I've got. I'm gonna have a little pinch of salt. I've got two egg yolks. I've got about two teaspoons, or rather, about a tablespoon of vinegar. About a tablespoon of lemon juice, that's two tablespoons of acid all together. Uh, I'm going to use about uh, six ounces of oil. So, how many do I need? Twelve. Two yolks. Two yolks. Two. This is two. Okay. So I got about two ounces of acid, um, and you can uh, uh, keep that lower in the beginning and add it to adjust the flavor as necessary later. Uh, so always season at the beginning with a little salt and pepper. Uh, the salt actually helps just a little bit loosen up the egg yolks, so they work a little bit easier. So I've got about a teaspoon and a half of mustard in there about three quarters of a teaspoon per yolk. All right, 
can see, I don't have a whole lot of water. I have a very small amount. Even though the water is a continuous phase. So all the oil I put in there is essentially going to be encased inside the water. That's what's going to make it thick. But, so, I'm starting out. Going real slow. I want to break that oil into the smallest droplets possible. Thank you. If I start to see any oil collecting around the sides, just stop adding and whisk it in. All right, it looks like a looks dispersed to me. So I'll continue. Once I have the emulsion created, I can add oil a little bit faster. And you see it's starting to get thicker and thicker. It's real soon going to become mayonnaise. And what happens if I add the oil too fast? Great. I won't be able to. I won't be able to whisk fast enough to break it up, and it'll just float. When it, when it does, the food processor would make the whole thing go very fast. So if I add the oil, if I add too much, the droplets will collect. It won't maintain my emulsion. So once I get too thick, and I want to adhere to my formula for flavor purposes, so I'll stand a little water. Thin it out of here. For the food processor demo. <laughs> right. I've got a pretty good viscosity for mayonnaise right now. It could be a little thicker. Got a little bit of oil left. Did you see how much water I added in there? Yeah, it's, about it's about an ounce. Two tablespoons. How many teaspoons in a tablespoon? Three. 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 How many tablespoons in an ounce? How many tablespoons in a cup? Six. How long? Did, how long did that take? Maybe a couple minutes. And I was stopping. Just for that? No way. How long? Six minutes so far. Just to make the mayonnaise? Yeah. Well, it's done. There's no so far about it. <laughs> but that's, that's a pretty good man. Wow. That was pretty easy. So how you change it to miracle? You sugar? <laughs> 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 yep. Uh, I'm going to. Uh, <laughs> I want to go to the camera. I'm going to beat you. Uh, <laughs> if, if, if I really want to, if I really want to mimic uh, miracle whip, yeah. I would use uh, for every couple eggs. I would use a whole egg for every oh. couple of yolks. So I might use three yolks and a whole egg. Oh, I got oh. For, for three cups of oil. Uh, it gives it a little bit different uh, mouthfeel yeah. oh, and no, texture. Some of the sweet, so you know, and sugar. some sugar. Yeah, that's okay. Yeah. But I just add some whites and some sugar. And then you got. So.